Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. This is my review for Married at First Sight, Season 7, Episode 8. Okay. You know, I'm just luxurious. It's 2 30 in the morning. I got my new kimono on. I'm chillaxing. I'm, I'm in a really good mood for whatever reason. And I just hope everyone had a great Tuesday and we'll have a great Wednesday, a great hump day. Okay. So if you have not done so already, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel to be an active subscriber. I love all my subscribers who are always in the comments, commenting, going back and forth with each other, going back and forth with me. I love, love, love it. If y'all do not know, I will be live this Friday, 10 p.m. The same time, same thing as last time. Okay, so Friday on YouTube, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I live in Michigan, so it's 10 p.m. in Michigan. Whatever time it is for you, I'm not sure. But again, 10 p.m. in Michigan, I will be live on my YouTube. We have a good little time every Friday, okay? When I go live, it's my way of connecting back with y'all. Great, great, great. We will talk about all the things going on in the world, okay? Just all the things, okay? Um, if you have not done so, do not forget to also hit that notification button because it lets you know when I have new videos. Yes, that's my hoodies and bacteria. I'm saying to worry about the business that pays you. For the people who have bought hoodies, thank you so much. I am very much appreciated. If you have not bought a hoodie yet, do not forget the link to get the hoodie is in the description box below this video. You hit the little arrow button, the box opens up, and it's a whole link right there. Get you a goddamn on t-shirt. I mean, well, it's t-shirts, it's the hoodies, and it's also my mug. So please shop my merchandise. <sighs> That's out the way. Okay, so this episode, you know, what I'm saying? I, I said before how the season was really slow in the beginning, and people got someone. No, it gets better towards the in the middle, whatever. It's getting better. Okay, I'm getting more. I can review it better because it's more going on in my personal opinion. So, you know, everyone's kind of getting back to their regular life since they have now met this whole stranger. Um, had a honeymoon, moved in together, and now they're kind of like, you know, going back to work and getting back to their regular, regular lives. So, um, we also see how the men are meeting up with the marriage counselor is the black pastor i don't know what his name is but i can call him the black pastor okay and you know they're basically just at dinner talking and chit chatting or whatever and he then asked them to rate their wives i said that's the devil okay that is the devil waiting for a little argument to come along okay because why rate them it's only been like two or three weeks i'm like ain't no rating yet i don't that's just so soon but you know i i think the word rate is what kind of made me feel like, well, yeah, like from one to ten, like from A to Z, like I just, it's just too much. So, Bobby gives Danielle a ten. Okay, Bobby, like, look, you know what I'm saying? We mesh very well. Like right now, everything is right. Like everything's kind of working out. We we just we connect and it's it's just easy breezy right now. And you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> he like I'm dead ass. Like I'm dead ass serious. Like I'm not joking. And he low key in love with that girl. He, he he and I think she low key in love with him. And not like that real I would die for you forever love. But like, you know what? I care for you, okay? I really do. But again, it's that early relationship um feeling. So when you meet a dude, okay, you know so when you meet somebody the first six months is either horrible or wonderful. They are in that wonderful stage. Again, I'm telling y'all, it's that six month and one day, that one day into that seventh month, that the real person starts coming out. So while they seem like they are literally really, really good together, um, I hope they just keep riding this way. But again, he like, I think she's a 10. She's great. I'm great. We great. We a whole great ass team together. So um, Dave gives... <laughs> Dave gives um, 
Amber a 7.5. Now, a 7.5 isn't bad, okay? A 7.5 leaves room for improvement. And I'm like, when he said the number, I said he's doing that because she's insecure. And it seems like they're always having issues based on her insecurity. So, I'm like, that's a, that's a valid, uh, perfectly okay number. It's not failing, okay? You pass with a 7.5 or whatever. Because, again, the number is not about looks. It's about overall how are they as a wife. So, he says how mainly it's because she's always stressed out and because she's stressed out due to her insecurities and i said that before he, he said that out loud um and so talk about the burp i don't know anyway he says he's always having to this come on um, it be, look i got it from amazon um i did not get it from from one anymore i got it and it just keeps slide and i'm like because the wind blowing so is, let me stop anyway i be just so, getting so <sighs> distracted so he says because he's always having to reassure her about something or just kind of help her within her day or make her feel better about something it's a continuing thing where he's always having to like lift her spirits and that is what a spouse is supposed to do at the same time if we only been if i've only known you three weeks we've only been married for two weeks but we know we've been married for two three weeks we, it's been two or three weeks together like you shouldn't even have all these issues. But you know what? This is what happens when you sleep with somebody real quick on the first day or whatever. And then y'all be sleeping together because the sex is real good. And you figure out they is crazy, deranged, and they don't even like they self a lot. This is what happens in real life. The difference is they marry. Because you meet somebody, they be great that first week or two. Like the sex is great. They cook or whatever. Not cook. Well, yeah, they might cook or whatever. They just real, you know what I'm saying? It's real cool. And then all of a sudden... The real person kicks in. Her real person is an insecure white woman with blonde hair and, and, and um, dark roots. That's what it is. Anyway, he brings up how he feels as if, if he had a bad day. If he had a bad day, he not even sure that she could like, you know what I'm saying, pat him on the back and say, baby, it's going to be okay. She, he, I don't know. She might not even have the, 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 the fortitude or the idea or the even the capacity to comfort me because she's so down and out about her goddamn self she don't be worried about me and you know what i'm saying we do have to remember that even though men are men they still want their women to uplift them you know what I'm saying? They, they still want you like you know baby you the best gone down burger flip i've ever seen if your man work at Burger King, let him know he flipped them burgers great if your man is down the you sweep up all the, all, all the trash baby you sweep it up so well like you you boost them up no matter what they do if they a car washer you wash the windows real good baby you use that broom in the car and you get you get to be in the crevices like let them know what they is um but you know he likes she's just not a rock star wife and he wish that she would just kind of think about it, think about stuff. He brings up an example. He said, in the beginning, we had an agreement. I'll cook. She'll do the dishes. He said, a lot of times, I end up doing the dishes and cooking. Because she don't feel like washing the dishes before bed. So, I get up in the morning and dishes still there. So, I end up doing the dishes. I'm like, well, that's, you know, that's a reason to give her a 7. Not, that's a 7. That ain't even 7.5. Like, he cooked. Do the dishes. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just do, do, do the dishes. Or, or cook your damn self and then do the dishes. Anyway, the pastor brings up how sometimes in marriage is not 50 50. Sometimes it's 70 30. That's true for long standing relationships. That's not true. You met somebody, y'all, two weeks in and she fuck around and leaving dirty dishes in the goddamn sink. Okay? That's some bullshit. Okay? Ain't no 70 30 in the beginning. 70 30 comes after I put work in. 70 30 comes when I've been with your ass for so long. Bitch, you owe me 20% anyway. Okay, you not you gonna do you do that now? I'm like day too early on for for it not to be 50 50. You can't go into a marriage at 70 30. You can't do that. You have to build up to that. You have to build up to that. You can't just be like oh well you know what I'm gonna be 70 30. No bitch, you'll be divorced. Um, so Tristan gives me an eight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He brings up how she just, you know, she, well, she has everything. She says, you know what I'm saying, put it all together. Just like your bed. Tristan, you are your, you a six. Okay? You a full-fledged six. Okay? A thick-ass six. Okay? A big lip fucking six. Okay? You get some my goddamn nerve. I'm going to give her eight. Tell me she, she just putting it all together. Put your mattress together with a, with a headboard and a foot frame. Put your damn pillowcases in the same color pillowcase uh, covers. Put your damn mattress, you know what I'm saying, next to a nightstand. Make your room look like an adult room. Oh, child. Anyway, so, 
that was a whole other thing. I do wish the women would have had like a little powwow with someone and then rate their husbands. Maybe that'll be the next episode. I'm not sure, but we did not see that in this particular episode. So we see Danielle and Bobby. You know what I'm saying? Bobby's a house husband. You know, he's a whole get up in the morning, make her some breakfast, make her lunch or whatever. He's a house husband and he feels great to do that. Um, he, you know, she's like, oh my, he's just, like, he just caters to me. It's just, I never thought, it's just so amazing because I always thought that I would be the one having to do this. And I'm so grateful that he does this. The one thing I will say that I do like about Danielle, she is not taking for granted how good Bobby is treating her now. Like, she's like, I can't believe, like, he just does things, like, just to cater to me like it's just so but she's a she's appreciative of it she's not like okay you know what i'm not gonna get up early and do shit because he's gonna do it like she's appreciative that that's what he likes to do and for me i'm like that's really that's really cool um and it was this is cute they it's weird they just go together anyway um she then asked him later that night, like, how the guy thing go? You know, of course, that was out, out with the pastor. And he well, it was great. We chit-chatted or whatever. We, we rated y'all. You know, we gave y'all all ratings. Oh, well, what did you rate me? He, a 10, babe. A whole 10. Like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 9, 10. And then she's like, oh, I love that. Because she said, if I had to rate him, I would also give him a 10. I'm like, they just weirdly happy. You know what I'm saying? She happy. He happy. The dog is happy. They have an adult bedroom. You know what I'm saying? It's really cool. They have his and her sinks. It's really cool. The dogs have their own space. They like a real ass married couple. And they just happen to have only known each other for a couple of weeks. So he then brings up again how, you know, a pastor black man. Yes, pastor black man. Pastor black man brought up how commitments like you know he brought up how he talked about what love means or being in love because they brought up at the dinner how Tristan and Mia says I love you and how Tristan's like why well, I made sure that Mia was aware that I'm not in love with her but I have love for her so you know that's why we do say I love you I ain't telling no man I love him period I, I, I just can't you know it takes time for me like I can't love you in two weeks okay I cannot I just cannot you know I no thank you um if I did, I would feel dumb. Cause how can I love you and I don't know you? I can't. I can. I can be infatuated with you. I can want to like sleep with you. I can maybe possibly want to be with you forever. But I have to also get to know you to want to be. I want to. I want to be with you until you show me I don't want to be with your ass no more. Okay, that's what I call when you building up to loving someone. Anyway. But he brings up how Pastor Black Man, as I said, yes, Pastor Black Man, um, said how, you know, being in love or, or falling in love means it's a commitment to basically be and do anything for someone. And it's a choice that you make that kind of you have no control over making it. It just kind of, you know, it just happens. You just happen to step into a puddle. You just happen to find a pot of gold. You just happen to find someone in your account. You know, and you don't have any control over it. And um, he brings up how he, he is he does feel like he's in love with her but he does not want to say it yet he wants to wait until it's the right moment and she says how she also feels it too the way he explained it by Pastor Black Man Pastor Black Man but she says she feels like she just won't say it either because she's not ready to say it even though she feels like she has those feelings um I think that's a, a, a logical way to handle things like you know don't say it yet because you know you just just don't like you got time you got a whole bunch of time anyway we do a similar thing with them where danielle cooks a meal for bobby to let him know that like if he's ever sick or whatever she can get in the kitchen and make something and hopefully don't kill him um i mean i don't think she killed no duck and put him in the freezer and cooking no duck but i'm you know she made she made a little something he ain't died when he ate it and, you know what I'm saying, it's really cute. It's really cute. And I feel like, you know, Bobby is coming with much less more, much, much less more. He's coming much less um, murdery than I thought he was. He's less of a Menendez brother. He's less of a, you know, of a killer. And I, I thought he was a killer. I thought he was going to kill her or maim her or something. And he's coming off like, cool. But I'm like, I still feel something bubbling. I just don't know what. I just, like, do he have a secret stash of like duck heads like in the backyard and he lines them up I'm, it's just something about him and i'm like i don't know what but he seems so sweet but sometimes those are the worst ones if you think about the serial killers who do crazy stuff they're like oh they were so normal they look so cute that was no that's how they got away with it because no one suspected them doing anything he is less murdery but i got my eye on you 
got my eye on you. Um, Amber, <laughs> Amber and Dave, um, they go in furniture shopping or whatever. So they because they want to kind of, you know, get some things that's theirs and not his or hers. Something that you they kind of bought together. And I think that's smart. I think when you move on to like either a new relationship, a new home or whatever, you have to get rid of certain stuff that you have before. Like, I feel like when you get into a new relationship and you move together or whatever, you know, you need a new bed. Okay, you should not have a bed that someone has had sex with someone else on it. I don't want that, okay? No. When I move, you know, when my lease is up here, I'm buying a whole new bed because I just don't want to take the, you know, it's just, you know, it's easy. Anyway, let me stop there. Um... Well, it won't matter at that point in time. Cause <laughs> um, but no. So, they're furniture shopping. Okay? They're furniture shopping. And he... She asked, like, you know, how was the the, 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 um, the dinner thing? And he brings up... Well, yeah, we had to rate y'all. You know, ha, 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 ha. You know, so I rate you a three. She's like, you're so silly. That's not what you rated me for. But what did you rate me? And he was like, oh, you know, it's 7.5. And she was like, What? <laughs> what are you serious he's like yeah is that bad like he was totally shocked like why is she so mad i also feel like why is she so mad because he did not say he rated her like how she looked okay it's you know as a wife you it's room for improvement you know what i'm saying you can't do it and then she's like well that kind of confirms in her confession that confirms my suspicions and my and my and my insecurities that i'm a bad wife you know what i'm saying it just means my my <laughs> Uh, it means my insecurities are valid. No, it doesn't. <laughs> means you cuckoo crazy. Okay, you cuckoo for cocoa puffs. And he's like, no, 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 no. This means that there, you know, you're good, but there's room for improvement. Okay, that's all that it means. Nothing more, nothing more, nothing less. And she's like, that's horrible. I can't believe that. You know what I'm saying? I can't, you know, why would you rate me an eight? He like, you mad because of like a, a point five, like a 7.5 and eight and the same thing. It's like, you want, you want to have a point up? Well, I'm just, he does not change to an eight. Like, he's out, like, you know what I'm saying? That's just a point up. But, it, you know, <laughs> he's like, it doesn't matter. But he, the fact that he wouldn't say eight was funny to me because it meant she wants her way in little weird ways. And he's not trying to fall in line with how she can kind of run things. I think he's consistently thinking about her friend, that girl we met the last episode. And he, like, we ain't gonna be that so i need to kind of just ring like reel her ass in when she tries to get the when he tries when she tries to get extra so <sighs> okay i'll be talking too fast i'm trying to rush and i get tongue tied so um he does not change his number and you know she like <laughs> That's like a C, you know. I don't want C's. I'm used to getting A's. When? When, girl? You a whole C ass wife, okay? We see that a damn self, okay? You are a seashell by the seaside, okay? You're a goddamn C, okay? C all day. See you later, C, C, C. Um, so he like, you know, you just be tra very stressed out, you know, and I just, I have to deal with it or whatever, you know, it's what it is. And she's like, what? And then he brings up how, you know, we remember. Remember we agreed to like I would do like the household uh trash, I would cook or whatever, and you would um do the laundry. no, that's not it, it was that and how you would do the laundry. He says, But for the past three weeks I've been doing the laundry. Now they show them talking a couple weeks ago where they're in the kitchen talking when they he said like, you know, let's come up with like a little plan or whatever. And he does like I'll do the trash, I'll cook since you don't want to cook much. Um and then she says she vol she voluntarily says like, Okay, I'll do the laundry. She offered that shit and they agreed for her to do that because she said that's what she would do. So she then says, Well, I do my own laundry. So, you know, you do you doing your laundry isn't anything different because you've always done your laundry. I said, this bitch here. This, that's why you a whole C wife, okay? You are a whole, you like a C, you're like a 6.5 now. You have went down a whole point because when she's, she literally said to this man, you, I do my own laundry, okay? You do your laundry. So that's not anything different than what you did before. I'm like, well, bitch, what is you there to do? He cooks, he does his own laundry. He takes the trash out. Like, what do you do? I don't get it. I mean, you can't, because you don't wash the dishes, as he said, because he do, he do that too. And now we find out you don't wash dishes and you don't, and you don't, do, or you don't do your own, you don't do, you don't do his laundry. I'm like, you can't agree to do laundry and not do his and just do yours. The fuck, lady? I, she's just, oh, she's so stupid. 
she then brings up she says this is why I never wanted to be a wife because I did not want to do extra stuff for my husband okay this is why I did not want to get married I said this because of laundry bitch laundry who doesn't want to get married because of laundry the only reason I would not want to get married is because I wouldn't want a husband like want me like suck his balls I'm not gonna do that so that's the reason I wouldn't get married like ball sucking is off the table but laundry bitch I'll do all the laundry not only that you can send clothes to the laundromat okay you don't even have to you can, as long as he ain't doing it is what matters because you agreed to handle the laundry and you you didn't want to get married because of laundry bitch oh lord jesus christ mary and joseph anyway dave was like this is you know he does not even know how to process how she's flipping out and being weirded out because one he didn't rate her at 7.5 and two he brought up how she don't do laundry he's like this is a crazy shit ever because she was supposed to do laundry and now she tripping you know what i'm saying and she then says to him like you know what i'm just wondering you know what can i do to be a better wife besides you know what i'm saying things that's like housework i say well bitch either suck some dick or more, or more line those, <laughs> what other options are there? You don't want to do any housework. So either suck his dick more or mow the lawn. Like those, because, you know, mowing the lawn isn't housework. Okay, that's, that's outside work. So you can mow the lawn, suck his dick, um, rub his feet. Um, go put gas in the car. You know what I'm saying? Cut the hedges. I mean, what else do you want? Like, when she when she asked the question, like he would say, you know what I want to do? Do my taxes. Like, if you could do, if you could fill all the water jugs, because I'd be thirsty, if you could warm my car up every morning, I'm like, what, what do you want me to do to make me a better wife besides something around the house? Um, suck some dick or mow the lawn. Anyway, you know, she later come back talking to him because now she's kind of calmed down. Five about things. She kind of took her medication and calmed down. So she's like, you know, I was tripping. I was tripping sometimes because I had these feelings for you. And you know what I'm saying? It scares me. It scares me when I have feelings for someone and it makes me overreact. Okay? It makes me overreact. So then I I create a fight to get away and to run. I say, well, bitch, is you 12? You're a grown-ass woman. And now you're someone's wife. I'm like, she's batshit crazy. Okay? He like, okay. Cool, cool, cool. I, yeah, I, I, I get it, I get it, I get it. And you can see he's like, this shit is crazy. Like, what do I do because we're married? And he's like, you know what? It's just frustrating because, you know, this is just not how a person should handle having feelings. It's like, this is not, this is not how this works. This is not how any of this works. And then he said, well, you know, I feel like, you know, we can, we, we can, we can hang in there. However, you know what I'm saying? If you keep doing these things that's causing these, these little battles and issues, it's going to cause us to have issues. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be hard going forward. And then he's like, you know what I'm saying? I just don't want us to, I don't want us to be thrown off track by those little things and i said dave you listen dave run run fast she's a whole single white female she is a whole single white female and she wants something that somebody does to she's crazy okay it's gonna be a rabbit she gonna kill her cat and want you to mourn the cat because she killed it i'm telling you that's gonna happen she crazy she bashed you crazy <laughs> tristan and mia um they're meeting the black pastor too, okay? They meet the black pastor. Let's have some little conversation because again, they had the whole felony, you know, d d uh, detainment at the airport. They had the whole thing, so they kind of like checking in with him to see if they okay. So he talks with Tristan separately, and I'm looking like, well, why? Because at the same time, Tristan may have had to deal with her lying about the whole the the stuff, but she also had to deal with the fact that she lied because. That man was a whole stranger. I'm like, she also has feelings and needs to talk to. I don't like how they're kind of catering to these men. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? Tristan brings up how, you know, they're doing okay. See, I, you know, <laughs> it's, all, it's extra, baby. Uh, Tristan brings up how they're doing okay, but he still has these issues where he has to still build up trust with her because of her lying before. I mean, I get that. You know, I, I, I get where he's coming from, but I, I tend to feel like there are little things that a person cannot admit to when you first, first meet them. 
if they're not big things. Like, I mean, everyone has stalked an ex a little bit, okay? And by that, I mean, if you break up with your dude, or your dude break up with you either way, and you call them a couple times, you're a bit of a stalker. When, you know, when you pop up to the girl's job, like, you gonna talk to me, you're a stalker. Um, if you stalk her social media, there are many things that a person can do that can be considered stalking after breaking up with someone. And they don't get arrested for it because who cares? You know, you'd be like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to ignore you. So, I mean, she did not do anything bodily. Like, she didn't hurt, like, hurt him. Um, the whole financial car, I think she, like, ordered some cell phones or whatever. That's completely different. That's some bad shit. That's, you know, that's, that's a bad decision. But, I mean, she didn't murder nobody. She didn't hurt him or whatever. Move on. Um, I don't think her lying about that is so horrible. Even though I feel like she's hiding something else. Um, what he's holding on to is the pettiest of the pettiest. Because, again, you you had known that woman for two days at that point in time. You had known her for two fucking days. And who wants to, to tell someone who they've known for two... I'm tapping my desk. For two fucking days about something and then it'd be on TV. I would be nervous as fuck, too. So, I get why she lied. I need Tristan to move the fuck on about it. Um, and just build up trust and not keep bringing up how you don't trust her. That's what I don't like. So, he also brings up, because now Mia back out. And, you know... He brings up how the lease in his in the his place is up in a month, and when he said that, I said, "If your lease is up in a month, and she only been living there for like two or three weeks, which means at that point in time you knew it was only like two months left on your lease, why didn't y'all move into her place um, that she owns? I don't get it. I mean, but I guess the fact that they're doing this little exercise where they have these eight weeks." to figure out if they want to stay married or whatever. I guess they can be his place until the lease is up. But, you know, I was like, bro, you a whole, you a whole dumbass idiot. Anyway, he brings up how because of that reason, because of that, because of that reason, whatever, um, they have options about what they're going to do. They can either buy a new place, they can move, uh, stay in the same city, or move out of the city. He wants to move closer to his parents or whatever, and he brings up how his job allows him or his business allows him <laughs> his business allows him to kind of be flexible to where he, where he can go and what he can do. Now she works remotely, um, but she still has to check with her employer to see if it's okay for her to move anywhere else. Um, she brings up how she's basically just open to the conversation of them possibly moving because again, she said we just we just got to the, we we just got married we just met each other like that's a big decision for me to make with a whole ass stranger even though the stranger is my husband like i i do feel like i would move for a year like we need to be married for a full year and be like and be okay oh make sure let's move close to your parents yeah okay no problem but i'm not moving and i just met you i'm not moving with you bro mm -mm, nope i don't care if it's the same state like i want to be well, we, we here right now. Like, let's not try to move close to your family because that's further away from my family. I ain't, ain't going to do that. And so, I like how she was honest. Like, I'm open to the conversation to see what we want to do. But I'm not going to say absolutely positively, yes, let's move to another city. So, um, we do see also Tristan is now upset. Okay. Tristan, like, oh, my friend called me whatever. And he said that he was, him and his girlfriend broke up. And, you know, so he was, like, looking to date somebody whatever. And so how he was on some app some dating app and how he saw Mia's profile and so he think that she's not a whole liar she's a whole liar per Tristan and I'm like because his friends that he saw her profile not that he matches her not that she messes him not that she like not nothing like that like I just saw the profile on this dating app and so you know he is pissed off and for me he acts like a pussy okay if you ask me she then says how you know I, the profile isn't active. Like, I, I deleted the app off my phone. And I'm not on that profile anymore. And he, like, him saying, I'm done. I can't believe this. I'm just so done, done, done. You're lying to me. And I'm looking like, why ain't you acting like a female pussy right now, bruh? Calm down. Like, here in Detroit, we see a lot of people act like they act light skin. He acting real light skin right now and not to be racist and whatever. But we said that here in Detroit. Like, oh, you acting, you acting real light skin. Like when someone's acting extra, extra sensitive, we say here, 
and it might be other people too, like around the world. I'm just saying, I can know that we do that here in Detroit. You acting real light skin. He acting real light skin right now, if you ask me. Like a whole vagina. Like he's a whole light skin vagina, okay? And for no reason, he's more upset over this than the goddamn on felony detainment from, from the um the honeymoon. I'm like, what you so mad for, bruh? The thing and the thing about it was People have profiles that be active on websites. It does not mean they're using it, okay? What if it's a whole catfish situation? Who knows? But, you know, so he just pissed, 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 pissed. So pissed, 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 pissed. And then Mia, like, you know, he doesn't trust me or whatever. It's kind of crazy that he just, you know, he doesn't love me yet either. And, you know, right now he's just shutting me out. Because he's, I mean, he's he's acting like, oh, Charlie, you hurt my feelings, Charlie. That hurt. I'm like, acting like a whole little baby in these streets. I'm like, get over it. So, and what made me mad is when she said, like, I deleted the app. Like, I didn't think about deleting the profile. Who does? Look, I have profiles on, I wrote it down. I have profiles on Tinder, Plenty of Fish, Match, uh, BlackPeopleMeet.com, probably Black Planet, probably Facebook, no, not Facebook, Matt, probably Black Planet, probably MySpace, probably Crushbot. And why? Because you delete apps, you delete websites, you never really go and like deactivate accounts. Like, you don't do that. Like, you make an account, oh, you use it for like a week, and you delete it. Or you be on it, you get married, and you delete the app. Okay? That is what people do. In 2018, or even this happened in 2017. So, when she said I, I deleted the app, he should have said, you know what? Let's get the app back on. Let's log in and see if you sent any messages recently, or let's log in and cut it off, or 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 deactivate. It. But to get mad as if she's lying about deleting the app is some bullshit. It's a you're a whole vagina, okay? Your vagina in the words of Samara Reese from Love Hip Hop. Um but again, no one disables profiles. They don't because who I don't know how to disable my goddamn Facebook profile. But I'm on Facebook I'm on Facebook. But you don't really think about oh how do I go in and deactivate whatever. Boy the fuck back. You know what I'm saying? You delete the app and you keep it pushing. So you know they then talk to a counselor like via video phone or whatever and trust I'm I'm upset. I'm just upset. You say I took my ring off. I'm just done. And she like, first of all, okay, unless you're ready to go get a divorce right now, don't take your ring off. Don't threaten divorce. Don't say you're done. Like, don't do that because that's basically blackmailing your this spouse to doing something that you want them to do because you're threatening to do A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, and you ain't going to do shit. So if you're not really ready to walk away, then don't do that. Put your goddamn ring back on and work through it. So, um... She brings up how, you know, y'all need time or whatever to do this and do that. It's been three weeks. Okay, three weeks. And Tristan, you tr I mean, he tripped so much, I was confused. I'm like, she, my friends saw your profile. Because she didn't say that it wasn't, her, it wasn't her profile. She did not say that she didn't have it. Well, she supposedly, you know, got off all, all those websites. Getting off some dating apps means you delete the fucking app. It does not mean that you go in and you delete your profile. Because no one thinks about that. Now, I don't know if she purposely did not delete hers. Her didn't. I don't know if she purposely did not um, delete her profile. But I know for a fact that I have dating websites. And I just delete it. Because <laughs> friends thought, oh, you should try this website. I'm looking like, oh, okay, fine. I'll be on here for like a week. And I'm like, delete this app. I don't, I don't, I don't want it. So I'm like, I can get her. So I'm like, oh, I, I deleted that. It makes fucking sense. And you've been a whole fucking vagina on these. I'm like, oh, this is my goddamn nerves. So, um, he puts his ring back on and now they all hugging. And he like, you know what? We'll get through it. You should have said that before you flipped the fuck out on her. Like, she really lied to you. And you saw her sucking dick on goddamn on, uh, YouTube streets. Stop it. Stop it, Tristan. Just stop it. They then have, like, a little date night. They go bowling. Um, it helps him calm the hell down. They get along, whatever. It's like a whole little date. But I was more mad because Tristan cut some goddamn blue jeans and made some fucking capris. I'm like, bruh. Them was capris, okay? I don't care. You cut them right above the knee, and they look like capri pants, and I don't like it. And they look like you cut your own blue jeans, and I don't like it. And that whole, was like a pineapple shirt or a palm tree shirt? I just it's not like his outfit, okay? Tristan, you're on thin ice with me, bro. You're on thin ice, okay? Now, if Mia don't have no more secrets, I would pick her over you because you just irked my damn nerves right now. You were really upset because she told you that she deleted the app. But you had the proof. You're lying to me. Yeah. 
shut up Tristan anyway that was the end of the situation um I'm I, I would want a divorce over them goddamn capri shorts um I'm Jay Lee I'm all set do not forget to subscribe to my channel purchase something on the website the description is in the description the <laughs> link is in the description box below do not forget to also post a comment and you know what the comment code I've been forgetting comment codes um the comment code is redfish bluefish or e i e i o or old mcdonald had a farm okay and and you can't do you can't do old mcdonald had a farm and yeah yeah no it's separate okay it's all separate okay it's either e i e i o or old mcdonald had a farm okay and then do a random emoji with an animal peace